Thanks for joining us again. Today, we're giving out an award for Outstanding Commitment in Labor and Workforce. And that person is Joyce Ivey. Joyce Ivey is the union steward for the Cairo School Bus Drivers and Monitors. Joyce has been a member of Laborers Local 773 since 2013 and has worked for the school bus, bus company in Cairo for 28 years. Her drive to mentor others led her to pursue coaching volleyball for high school and junior high school students. Joyce has two sons and is a proud grandmother of five grandchildren. Joyce has been a resident of Cairo, Illinois her entire life, a town which has the distinction of being the southernmost city in Illinois as well as the county seat of Alexander County. Joyce, welcome. And tell us a little bit about life in Cairo, Illinois. Oh, well, I grew up in this little small town outside of Cairo called Future City. And um, I graduated from Cairo High School. And growing up, I can remember Cairo being the most talked about town in Southern Illinois. Everyone wanted to come to Cairo. They wanted to come and shop. We had a movie theater. We had all kinds of restaurants. And everyone just wanted to come to Carroll and just love being in Carroll. Um, I remember growing up, uh, the late Charles Cohen, he was the um, the leader of the United Front movement. And I also remember Jesse Jackson coming to Carroll and doing a march with uh, Charles Cohen. Yeah. Well, Joyce, um, how did you come to work for the school boys company, school bus company in Carroll? Um, well, my mother and my aunt drove the bus for many years. I even rode the bus when my mom was driving. So, um, my mom, she became the manager of the school buses. So it was a position open and I applied for the position. I got hired as a bus monitor and I worked, it's been over almost 30 years. I have worked for the uh, school bus company. So, um, my mom, she retired. And I became the manager over several years ago. So I'm also the uh, bus monitor and also the school bus uh, manager. And um, the steward is for the, for the monitors, but not the steward is for the bus drivers, but I'm the steward is for the monitor. So I've been working with the buses for a long time. Well, you've worked for the company for a long time, but you also have grown to be a union steward for Laborers Local 773. What is that? What is that yes. like? You know, what do you get from that? Well, I love being working with my colleagues, uh, trying to make our workplace a better environment, and proud to just be able to help out when it, when we have issues or whatever. We come together and we talk about it. So I was proud to be a union stewardess for. I've been a union stewardess for I don't forget how many years, but several years now, and I enjoy being a union stewardess. I always welcome to I always happy to help anybody that's willing to, you know, work with me. Well, that sort of leadership is really appreciated in the workplace, but you also have yeah. a leadership role outside of your job. Uh, you worked as a coach. Right. Coaching is a calling. Would you give us some insights yes. on what, what you think makes someone a successful coach? Well, first of all, I love spending time with the youth. I love listening to them. I love um, hanging with them, going to games, and also I'm always want to. I always talk to them about being successful in life, being motivated. You know, telling them that you know it's more to life than just sports. That you all need to you know finish your education, and it's more to life. It's other things to do, and I just like motivating the youth. All right. Well, it sounds like youth play a large role in your life, both professionally and uh, at home. You know, yes. being a father is one of the most rewarding responsibilities in my own life. And I imagine that when someday I become a grandparent, it'll be even more so. What can you tell our viewers about the lessons you've learned while caring for your grandchildren? Wow. I love watching my grandbabies grow up. And I love teaching them, you know, the right way to be successful in life. And I, I'm there with give them all the support and all the love that I have to give them. Just love on them long as I can. Joyce, I was, I was going to ask what your uh, advice is for life in general, but that seems like a pretty good advice there. Love as much as you can, as long as you can. As much as you can, and long as you can. We're not promised tomorrow. No, we are not. Well, it seems like uh, you've made a lot of your todays on this, on this planet and look forward to seeing many tomorrows out there. 
Joyce, congratulations on this award for Thank outstanding you. commitment in workforce and labor. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Pleasure talking to you as well.